What we've basically been doing is we've been looking at 3D printing as a way to uh, apply it to personalized medicine and help to increase individual patient care. We're starting on a journey that hopefully will lead to new therapeutics, particularly in the realm of prosthetic joint infections, which today in the United States cause uh, upwards of $750 million worth of additional health care costs. And the goal is to use the 3D printers to create antibiotic containing filaments or beads or virtually any shape we could, we could make and implant them during surgery to prevent the infection from happening before it even begins. What we've done is we've come up with a proprietary method to create a uh, uniform antibiotic filament. So we've been able to uh, code bioplastic pellets or beads and come up with ways to extrude those into 3D printing filaments that can be used on any consumer or tabletop 3D printer. So being able to use the, uh, the 3D print applications, it's just a really great way to uh, create, to create uh, alternatives that increase patient care.